On the nursing units, soiled commode pots, bedpans, slipper pans and urinals can be safely emptied, disinfected and dried with one touch using the Myco top line bedpan washers. The Myco is plumbed directly into the sewer lines like a toilet. Voiding devices are placed upright in the specialized holding rack. When the door closes, the rack tilts, safely dumping the contents and aligning the containers with the powerful cleaning nozzles. You do not need to empty pots, bedpans or urinals before loading them in the rack. Just do not put anything in the Myco that you would not flush down your toilet. That means no diapers, Kim wipes, blue underpads, feminine hygiene products or single-use disposable output receptacles. Here's how you load the machine. If the door is shut, hold your hand within 2 cm of the infrared sensor on the control panel for one second. The door will open. You may also lightly touch the foot pedal if you prefer. Urinals, pots and bedpans must be loaded correctly for the machine to clean and disinfect them. The rack is custom designed to hold our devices properly and must be loaded the right way. Before loading, look inside the wash chamber to make sure it is empty and free of blockages. Plastic bedpans fit securely in the rack. Stainless steel bedpans fit the same way. Urinals can be washed up to three at a time. Place the urinal opening into the hook, then seat the urinal downward in the rack holder with the handle facing up. Use the left-hand side of the rack for a single urinal. Slipper pans fit in the rack the wide end first. Do not make these mistakes. The pan may not be fully disinfected. Always load slipper pans this way. A urinal and a slipper pan can be washed at the same time, as can a urinal and a bed pan. A wash basin and a kidney pan can also be washed together. It's very important to load urinals correctly with the opening facing away from you, hook inside, handle on top, seated down into the rack holder. Do not make this mistake. When the door closes, the urinal could slip off the rack and jam the door shut. Always load the urinals this way. A pictorial guide to loading the machine is posted on the front of the machine. To close the door and start the wash cycle, press the third button from the top on the control panel. The other three circular function buttons on the panel have been programmed to also start the wash cycle in case you press one of them by mistake. The button in the triangle is the alert button. It highlights red if the detergent or softener rinse agent run dry or if there's another error message. The little directional arrow buttons are for use by FMO technicians only. You can see what stage the machine is at in the display panel. The small arrows show the progress. The door opening functions are locked while the machine is cycling so you cannot accidentally open the door. When drying is complete, open the door with either the infrared no-touch sensor or the foot pedal. The voiding devices are disinfected and dry and can be removed without wearing gloves. 
Fail-safe mechanisms have been designed into the MICO to prevent unclean items from being used by patients. One of those fail-safes is the detergent softener dispensing mechanism. The MICO washer will visually warn you when you have 25 cycles remaining for either detergent or the softener rinse agent. This detergent or softener rinse agent should be replaced at this time. To replace the detergent or softener rinse agent, open a new jug. Take the spigot from the old jug and place it in the new jug. Sensors on the spigot will tell the machine that the new jug is full and the MICO will reset and be ready for use again. If either jug is allowed to run dry, sensors will alert the MICO and it will enter a clinical lockout condition. An error message will display and the alert button will highlight red. The machine will not operate until the empty jug is replaced. If this happens, contact maintenance for assistance. If the MICO is not functioning properly, there are additional fail-safe mechanisms that can result in a machine lockout. An error code will appear in the display window and the MICO will shut down completely. If this happens, contact the facility's maintenance office. FMO technicians will attend to read the error codes and diagnose and fix the problem.